that this is not even just a regular Super B. It is a six pack. Okay, now we're gonna start off light with a 1973 Dodge Charger C. That was definitely someone's hot rod. Last registered or last inspected, 1987. Blue interior, looks like it was a gray car. Up next is a 1967 Plymouth Satellite that looks like a tree landed on it or something to that extent. Has bucket seats in it now. Don't know what it was. At least it's a four speed or automatic on the floor. And my friend just dropped this. Where you're like, what is this 73 Challenger Rally? Yeah, 73 Challenger Rally, 344 speed car, but it had 12 inch drum brakes on it still. And it's, it's rough. Looks like it was a yellow car originally or white. Still has the taillights in it. Oh, there's a nice little Mopar small block. Satellite. So here's one of my favorites. 1970 Plymouth Barracuda. Or is it a Cuda? Barracuda. I think it's Barracuda. It was purple. Yeah, original purple car. No dash in it, but it was last registered. 1983. See right there. Sitting out in the field with a few weeds growing up through it. That's neat. It's just a rolling shell as of right now. It's actually got a B-body steering column in it. Or there's a B-body steering wheel. Weird it out. Let's see. Uh, B-body steering wheel in there. Up next is a 64 Dodge Polara. Or similar, it might be a 330. That's really not what we're here for. We're here for these. This right here is a 1970 Dodge Charger RT. Why is it weirding out? RTSE 440, four speed, I believe, right? Uh, automatic. But. And the guy who owns it now, he actually bought it back in 1980 and then traded it and then it went through a few different owners and they hacked it up. But it's a real U-Code 440 car. Up here is a 1971 Dodge Super B. And some people didn't know that you could get the Super B in 71. It was moved over to the Dodge Charger lineup. It was an option. You could get all the way up to the Hemi. This one here is a 3D3 Magnum with Air Grabber. Plum Crazy Purple, maybe? Don't know if it's original. That's weird. It doesn't have the uh, Super B doors. Or the RT doors. Did the Super B not have them? Oh, okay. Looks like it was last registered... I went to the Mopar Nationals in 1993. Next, that's a like a 71 satellite. No, 72. Might be a Roadrunner. This one was last registered in 1993. Look at that interior. Someone's race car. Then here's 66 Dodge Coronet. 500. Don't know what that was originally. 
Now they're, this looks like a Belvedere 2 Plymouth. Another Belvedere convertible. Oh, those are Oldsmobile hubcaps. I, this is a 69 Roadrunner. Let's see what engine it was. Uh, probably a 3D3. Yep. RM23 H96. Nice old Roadrunner. This gives you a little bit of an idea of the cars in the field. And this is the second time visiting this field. I'll actually post pictures at the end of the video of what the field looked like the very first time I came here. Another 66 satellite. 71 Roadrunner right there. But we'll, yeah, we'll go down the other side of the row. Ooh, those are four speed. 69 Roadrunner, is it? Yeah, another Roadrunner. Can't see the VIN really well, but... RM2... 1, okay. Oh yeah, hardtop. Okay. Oh, why is... Oh. Sorry about that. Then we got a Dodge Challenger. Don't know what year. Oh, I think it's a 70. four-speed car. Looks like it was a rally dash car. Ooh, sunroof car. What's up? You think someone put it on, but I don't know. It's, it's metal. Could be original. Let's see what we got. JH 23 H, so 340 car. Right? H is 340? Yeah. We're doing like bronze, it looks like. Power steering, manual drum brakes. Pretty cool car though, no AC. And then what do we got here? 65 Plymouth, I think. And then there's Seth. And then we got a 64 Dodge station wagon. Sitting behind it. 1971 Dodge Super B. 440. It, this is not even just a regular Super B. It is a six pack. You can see the V and the VIN number. Last registered in 1980. One from the sticker. Looks like a really well opened car. We'll see from the other side what uh, transmission it came with. Ooh, rubber bumper. Or at least someone painted the bumper. Let's see what we got here. Oh, okay, it's locked. <clears throat> Automatic on the floor with the bucket seats. And then here is another 71 Charger. I think. Yeah, this is an SE. But still, bucket seat, tough wheel. Automatic on the floor. Well optioned. Another. Why is this not working? There we go. Another 1971 Dodge Super V. Man, let's see what this engine is. Oh, it says 33 Magnum on the hood. And yep. VIN number shows this is a 33 car. Oh, I'm back on the floor again. Let's see. Oh, this rally gauge. No tack though. AM radio, air conditioning, nice. Not too bad of a car, really. 
And then here's another 71 Charger. This one, I don't know what it is, other than it's 71 Charger. Let's see what the VIN number says. Or as Steve Magnante says, the V-I-N. It's just a Charger. G-Code. 318. Yeah. But it's a purple car, originally, looks like. Purple car, oh yeah. White interior. That's pretty neat. Seth doesn't want to be on film. Four-door Polaro. Then another 1970 Barracuda, or maybe 71. Because they use the same tail panel. There's no dash in this thing. There's no front end. It is a bare shell. It doesn't even have a floor. I think it's a 71 because it has the emission control. In, unless it's a California car, a lot of 70s didn't come with that. And here, this is sad, 71 Challenger, not an RT, but real 71 Challenger. Looks like it's a, what is this? You think it's butterscotch? Light tan and then a tan interior. Three speed manual on the floor. Slant six, yeah. I can't open the door. But slant six, three speed on the floor. Oh, that grill is heartbreaking. As any 71 Challenger owner would know, 71 grills are unique all to their own. And as of 2023, no one reproduces a 71 grill. But there's the slant six. Oh, there we go. But it's uh, not terrible. Needs a complete restoration, but it's not terrible. So yeah, that's it from this yard. And then we're off to another adventure. And uh, should be a lot of fun. This is the yard when I first saw it back in 2021. These were the cars as they lined up. And as you can see in the pictures, comparing it to the video, some of the cars had moved on. Like the 70 Charger, that left. I think one of the Kudas has left. Um, I never did go back and see that 71 Roadrunner. And this Kuda has gone. So the owner does sell stuff. And he is interested in moving some of the cars here in the near future. So if you do have any interest in anything that's here, uh, definitely drop me a line or and I can possibly put you in contact. But they don't go cheap. So just a heads up that they offer fair pricing. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed that video from my friend's yard. Um, it was definitely really interesting to go through there for a second time and really deep dive into some of the cars that were there. When we went there the first time, I had no idea what he had. I didn't know the yard existed. And this is just the first one that we showed up at. He has a bunch more, which I'll show here in the next few videos. I think the next one actually might be a 67 Corvette 427 car that we pull out of a garage. But this yard was really cool, and I thought this was going to be the top of the whole adventure, and it was just the beginning. It is absolutely incredible. And uh, today I was driving, and I stopped at the East Troy trolley museum in east troy wisconsin and uh i just saw the last trolley running but i wanted to try to film in front of it but they put it away by the time i came around but uh still it's a beautiful day so i thought i'd hang out here for a little bit and uh then go cruise on home but uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video of course if you have any comments or questions you can leave them in the comments section below or any of the social media which is in the description Otherwise, um, I'll see you guys next Monday for a new video. And, uh, oh, one more thing. I wanted to say that I just got back on Friday from the Indy Mopar, uh, not the Indy Mopar swap, that's what I usually go to, the Indy Megum auction, and I saw the RTS Cuda go across the stage. I was actually just to the right um, as they were driving out, and I saw it go for $2.2 million with fees. That was something. I'll put a picture here at, at the end of the car on the uh, takeaway spot. But I hope everyone's happy and healthy, and I'll talk to you all soon.